okay what is the role of membrane thickness in the prediction of the chorionicity uh, prediction of the chorionicity based on membrane thickness is more reliable before 26 of crustacean phase a thinning of the membrane that is of the between the two fetuses which is a part of decidua capsulis occurs within the progress of pregnancy a membrane considered thick if it is when you consider the membrane is thick if it is well defined and it is high for if it has a finite measure measurable thickness greater than 1 mm okay so a uh, membrane thickness uh, a membrane is considered thick if it is well defined high for echoic has a finite measurable thickness greater than 1 mm okay a thick membrane is called as 2 mm or more in dichorinitic okay this is over then uh, you can see here the membrane thickness is twin peak signs then uh, how do you diagnose a monoamniotic twins uh, a monoamniotic twins pregnancy is rare okay this is associated with the late division of the fertilized ovum uh, late division that is uh, sonography can directly confirm the monoamniotic amniocity when uh, entanglement of cords conjoined to non visualization of intertwin membrane or a single umbilical cord containing more than three vessels is visualized so uh, these are the things uh, for monoamniotic twins uh, how you can diagnose monoamniotic twins first thing is to see the cord entanglement conjoined to non visualization of the intertwin membranes or single umbilical cord okay that is three vessel sign uh, why do you worry about monoamniotic twin pregnancy the monoamniotic twin pregnancy there is a mortality of 50 percent that is associated with the twin to twin transfer syndrome congenital malformation like acaria conjoined twins preterm middle-aged bodies okay so mostly the monoamniotic twins have a cardiac twins uh, conjoined twins preterm deliveries what are the antenatal advices to women with multiple pregnancies antenatal care should be uh, what are the antenatal care you give uh, you will uh, the antenatal care should be a referral center that should be in once in two weeks in second trimester then weekly in third trimester the dietary improvement should be advised as early as possible she has to be consume additional 300 calorie per day daily iron uh, and folic acid uh, daily iron 100 mg folic acid has to 1 mg requirement also increases early alteration to look the diagnosis and serial alteration to examination also perform for growth to rule out anomalies in monoamnetic twins fetal surveillance should be done once in two weeks frequent fetal surveillance before 36 is not mandatory in diagnostic twins with concurrent growth okay then how we will monitor the growth of the pregnancy the dichagate twin have different genes so many vary in growth monodagate twin has same genes theoretically this would have an identical parameter the highest accuracy of growth predictions is obtained by estimated fetal weight abdominal circumference significant discordance means that one twin is average the other is small the difference has to be more than 25 percent so AC or 20 mm or more was the parameter. Discordance can be suspected in first trimester if difference between the twin uh, fetus and the sac measurement to more than 2 mm, I am ready for more than 2 mm both sac. NT discordance 20 mm, 20 percent more. Uh, this um, later pregnancy single share of placenta less efficient to fetus as a single placenta is technically three parts based on the IV malformation, two belongs to each and two individual, third part share. The growth monitoring with ultrasound should be performed in 3 to 4 weeks after 26 weeks of pregnancy more frequently if there is a discordance the IGF. What are the criteria? What are the criteria? Mm, what are the criteria to diagnose discordant growth? Mostly the postnatal uh, bar for discordance more than 20 percent weighted with an fibram. What are the causes of discordance? Twin to twin transmission syndrome, abnormal karyotype, intrauterine growth restrictions. Okay. What is 20 to 20 transmission syndrome? The AV malformation of the placenta leads to 20 to 20 always seen in monochorionic placenta, if they are in diachronic. In 35% of monochorionic pregnancy, one of the twins have a more amenable, whereas the other will have the less. In twin pregnancy, the combined presence of same sex with twin single placenta uh, with the thin separating membrane, weight discordance, major difference in the fluid volume between the amenity sac, severe oligo has been oligopolyhedral sequence. In most terms, the unbalanced transanting of the deep AV malformations. Uh, these two uh, type of TTC is there is gradual transverotum transfusion from the restricted stock to into the vascular system the other communicating being from the umbilical artery donor to the others the donor twin is growth restricted hypovolemic anemic the recipient is larger and hypovolemic because the yellow top separate was produced
okay the by injecting one negative uh, prpc the spawner to in immediately remove the blood from the coat in testing kb test 22 test will confirm how to separate the donor to in how do we manage stops um, How to uh, how do you manage tops can cause TTTS? How do you manage the tops can cause TTTS? Uh, preterm delivery, polyhydramnus, IUGR, fetal demise. Uh, amniotic reduction has so improvement in the fetal survival. Positive evidence in case when the amniotic fluid exceeds 40 centimeter, one liter of fluid is removed every 10 centimeter. Rise above normal. This procedure takes place uh, takes care of polyhydramnus. Fetus are born later in the gestation. Amniotic septostomy. Amniotic septostomy can create artificial opening between the gestation and produce effect of monoamnotic pregnancy. Predatory transfers are rarely seen in monoamnotic gestation. There is a speculation that donor twin access to amniotic phase opening. The vessels and placenta surface are abraded by new NDI laser and the laser ablation 70% by fetoscopy. Some advances ablation at all. Uh, severe predatory transfers are present before 26 years gestation should be treated by laser ablation. Rather than amniotic reduction, selective fetal reduction, tumultuary transmission method, reserve reparative phase two, fetal therapy. Uh, classify by quintus tracing. This is the initial way. Uh, there is oligo and poly, and um, bladder donor is baby is visible. Poly and oligo plus bladder is no longer visible in donor twin. And uh, then stage three blood flow in the fetus can be measured the Doppler additional finding stage one plus two with the blood flow umbilical fetal Doppler abnormality. And then large revision, the pattern of either um, the but dies to be absent or reverse, doctors when it's absent or reverse, is going to be nearly heart failure, then tricuspid regurgitation, one or both baby can be high drops, is going to excess fluid in the swelling of the skin, head, scalp edema, total effusion, recurrent effusions, one or both baby are dead. How do you manage multiple gestation if one fetus died? There is uh, one to is loss, spinous, 20% gestation diagnosed first trimester. The early loss is referred as a negligible effect. Second and third trimester. The second and third trimester loss associated with the significant morbidity mortality in the survivor. There is a 20% probability of neurological damage, which is difficult to predict. Mm, uh, the surviving twins should have evaluated with ultrasound and MRI. Uh, if uh, no action is observed, no patient may counsel and expect a medical support, but the outcome is worse in monocoronary. And the patients are infection, necrosis, the pain, multi cystic encephalomyelitis, liver, kidney injury, renal cortical necrosis, uh, renal reverse blood flow to the fetus, such as thromboplastic circulation, necrotic embolism may pass the day to lay fetus. Uh, there will be chances of hypertension, DIC, and anemia, necrosis, infection. Deliver the fetus as soon as the survivor can be expected to live. From the uh, selective fetal, 8 to 20 percent multiple pregnancy reduced spontaneously by the end of the first pregnancy. When the phenomenon of the finishing to inaugurate prior to 40 minutes, it has no adverse effect. The remaining fetus is the higher. Order of gestation is don't reduce spontaneously. What is the principle of selective fetal reduction? It should be done in higher order of pregnancy, more than three. Elimination of the fetus with non serious anomaly to improve the outcome of the normal coating.